So in the first episode of PGP uh, encryption, we talked about like you know, symmetric or symmetric encryption, what is PGP, how it's used and, and why do we want to use it. Uh, so just to quick recap, uh, I think mostly we want to use when we want to share some confidential information or uh, let's say you're using the service which does not provide encryption um, by default or maybe you want to have extra layer of security. So even like, you know, we are using Gmail to send some email uh, with some credentials or something or some secret messages you want to encrypt on top of Google's encryption, right? So uh, those are the various reasons um, and, and pretty much like, you know, I just use the encryption on day-to-day -day basis. Like if I have to share something uh, secretly with my client or customer, that's also uh, one of the, uh, because most of the stuff that we do like pen test and, and stuff like that uh, usually have uh, pretty confidential information. So you want to encrypt those uh, with this particular technology. Uh, now today what I want to teach you is how do you generate the PGP uh, encryption keys. Uh, once you generate those keys then like you know uh, that's also a very essential to learn because uh, there are various options you have to choose when you generate the keys. Also there is there is some precautions you have to take to be anonymous while generating the keys and stuff like that. So we'll go over some of those steps today. And then in the next sessions, I'll also show you like, you know, how to use this and etc. Enjoying this content so far, please hit the like button uh, and like, you know, um, leave the feedback at the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And that gives me feedback on what kind of video I need to make. So uh, let's start with the first method on how do we generate the PGP encryption key. So this is the tool, uh, pgptool.org. And uh, this is the, like, you know, just an online version of it. So you can use it to generate any keys. Uh, I'll quickly show you how to use it and, and what to do. So name I would usually prefer like you know to keep something very fake because you want to be anonymous so you have generated a fake identity as discussed in our, one of the previous sessions so you're going to use that uh, while, while choosing the name and also for the email uh, as well you want to choose something like you know uh, random of course I'm just using something random but you do want to uh, like you know generate an email box and something so you can receive the emails. Now your question is why do we need email address while generating the keys? So your email address will be included as public information in your public PGP key. As we talked, it's an asymmetric encryption, so you have public and private key. So your public key can be easily imported by a third-party PGP software. If you do not supply your email address, your PGP decryption software may be unable to link your email address to your public PGP key and therefore unable to automatically encrypt decrypt email messages. As a result, you will have to manually decrypt the message each time you receive PGP encrypted message. So that's that's the reason um, you want to have like, you know, this email address. Comments, if you wanna put anything, uh, we can usually skip it or you can say like, you know, test key. Uh, algorithm, uh, you want to use RSA. That's the, at least the secure one at this point of time uh, when we are recording this session. Uh, key size. I would usually go with 4096. Now here is also like, you know, some things to talk about. Uh, the lower the keys goes, uh, it's like, you know, it's faster because of course it has to do less computation. The uh, higher the number you go, it's slower, but depending on the confidentiality, you want to use the encryption key size. Uh, 8192 as it said, like it's super secure, but super slow. So that's why we, we are going to settle in the middle, 4096. Then the question is how often you want the, like uh, when do you want this key to be expired? Uh, usually I choose never because I want to keep these keys for a long time. And passphrase is the one that uh, it's going to be used uh, like, you know, when you're using the secret key. So I'm going to type something and uh, generate the key. Once the key, it's going to like, you know, you want to do some movement on your keyboard, mouse, etc. And then once the key is generated, it will show up here, public key and private key, which you can download. Now, this is the easiest way uh, if you don't want to go, go in, get into much technicality. However, I prefer another method to generate the encryption key. And that method is uh, GPG. Uh, so how uh, you need to, so first, okay. GPG full generate key. Then it will give you the option. So uh, currently I have 2.4.0. Please select the what kind of key you want. Of course, uh, as I said, like we want RSA. So I'm gonna select option one. 
RSA key is maybe between uh, 1244096. So how much do you want? Default is 3072. We need 4096. So we're gonna choose that one. Then we are going to uh, ask like, please specify how long the key should be valid. As I said, like key, I don't want key to be expired. So I'm just gonna put the zero. Uh, are you uh, just asking for another confirmation and that key does not expire at all? Is this correct? Yes. So what is the, uh, f like it says real name, but we're gonna use the fake name, of course, uh, just for our for, uh, demo purpose. And we already saw why we need email. So we're gonna put the email as well. Comment, we can skip or we can just say test. Everything looks good, so I'm gonna say okay. So it's gonna say, we need to generate a lot of random bytes. It's a good idea to perform some other actions. Type on the keyboard, move the mouse, utilize the disk. You're doing the prime generation. This gives the random number generator a better chance to gain enough entropy, right? So again, it's going to ask us to put some passphrase, which I'm done. And let's just like, you know, keep moving our mouse and, and do some typing on the other screen or something and uh, more more random bytes it generates it's better our entropy will be higher and and usually you could uh, you can test it with the burp sequencer uh, tool if i'm not mistaken and and that will be uh, like you know a perfect way to check the entropy as well and you can regenerate so now the key is generated what you want to do is you want to copy this sid or id of the key and then you want to type gpg and then you want to export the key um, then type the key id and say public key test dot key the key is exported now let's also do the private key or secret key i would say test and here we need to uh, write export secret key now this one should ask the password the one that we have selected we have selected like you know while generating the key if it goes right it's going to be able to generate the key so as you can see our PGP keys uh, have been okay so as you can see, our PGP key has been generated. Now the secret key is very secretive. So you want to make sure uh, you keep it in the secure location because anyone with the secret key will be able to decrypt any message which was sent to you. So make sure you use it uh, uh, like, you know, you keep it very secure. So just to recap, uh, while you generate the PGP key, you use RSA. This is also a good interview question. Uh, you use fake identity because you, if you want to be anonymous because all the all the messages like if i want to send you something uh, and i use your public key then i'll be able to see your email so you want to use the fake identity if you want to be anonymous there 4096 is a good bytes uh, to to stay secure as well as not super slow for encryption and always make sure the key is stored securely so if you follow all of this i think uh, you'll have good uh, encryption keys and you can use it for forever I'll, I'll show you in the next videos how to use this and like you know uh, what are the different ways we can encrypt and decrypt the messages with this uh, but until then if you have any questions feel free to drop it down in the comment section um, i don't mind that at all uh, also i'll try my best to uh, get back to you uh, also just make sure you remember all of this because a lot of times i uh, like you know people ask this kind of question in the interview as well hope you like it uh, please subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys next monday bye